is not yet come. And his mother said unto him, unto the servants, whatsoever he said unto you, do it. <laughs> and there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews. Yes, Lord. Containing two or three frankens apiece. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. Mm -hmm. And they, they be filled them up to the brim. Mm -hmm. All the way up to the end. We can't, they can't they take no more water. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not what it was. Mm -hmm. But the servant which drew the water knew. Mm -hmm. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom mm -hmm. and said, number 10 unto him, every man at the beginning does set forth good wine. When men have well drunk, then they which is worse but they has kept the good wine until now. You see the scenario? This is the beginning of the miracle. This is the beginning of the miracle that Jesus did in Canaan of Galilee and manifest for his glory, and his disciples believed on him. That's first through the 11th verse of the second chapter of St. John. To understand the manner and mission and the method so that we can get to know who him better. To understand the method and the meaning yeah. so we can understand and know Jesus better. That's fact. Mm -hmm. Principle to be people who will well acquainted with Jesus, motives, action, so that we can be the type of disciples that please him in our modern context. We want to observe Jesus' motive and action so that we yes, can Lord. be the type of disciples hmm, yes, Lord. that please him in our motive and in our action. And there's some application to realize that Jesus' miracles were ultimately intended to bring focus upon God's kingdom principles. To seek to do the same by our words and by our Action. Yes, Lord. It's amazing how God used this marriage. Mm -hmm. assault, assault together. Assault together. And a lot of people think that it's a waste of time <clears throat> to go to a wedding or go to the reception. But now, Jesus had an ultimate goal in mind when he went. He wanted to show the disciples who he was. Hallelujah. And what type of relationship they got to have with people. Mm. And then, at the utmost point, that he is doing all of this to glorify his Father in heaven. Mm. And then during, when, when Mary came and told him about the wine. Yes, Lord. He said, well, my time is not yet, woman. Uh, this way. I, I know what time God wants me to do his work. Mm -hmm. His ministry and his mission. Mm -hmm. And he was waiting on God to do what he said he was going to do at, uh, at the right time. Mm -hmm. God moved by time. Y'all know that about fool you. Yes, he moved Lord. by time. He, he got the, uh, we, we may want to hurry up and go. Mm -hmm. But God got to set time. And if we listen to him, he would tell us when. Hallelujah. And, and when we give our lives to him now, I'm talking about a believer, I'm talking about believers now. When, when a believer gives, he's going to let that believe know because the first thing we're going to do, we're going to consult God. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're going to consult God. Yes, what, Lord. What, what, what I, I want to say, that, um, I want Mary to say, well, whatever he said to you, do, do it. it. <laughs> whatever he said to you, do it because the best is yet yes, to come. God. Uh, you ain't, we haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, what a break. No, Hallelujah. Yet. And when we do what Jesus said, do from this word. Every trial, every tribulation, everything that we ever challenge, God going to be there and go through it for us because the victory, yes, Lord. I say the victory, the victory. has already been won. Mm -hmm. 
All we have to do is just like in what that is, 1 Corinthians 15, 15, be that steadfast and unmovable. Yes, Lord. Always abounding in the word of God. That's what we have to do. And when, when, when the time came, ha, Jesus said, uh, fill the pots up to the brim. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lord. Thank you. Uh, when they fill the pots up, he said, now, I want you to take it to the governor and let him taste it. Uh, and he saved the best. <laughs> the best is well, yet right. to come. Yes, oh, is, this is 21. Well, the best is yet to come. Oh, hallelujah. Life. Thank you, if Jesus. If we be steadfast yes, and unmoved. Yes. And we, we look to what the Spirit of God says to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, and after a while, he's going to move everything that's hindering you in your life. If we stay steadfast, if we believe his word unconditionally, mm -hmm. somebody said whether we're sick or well, huh? we got to keep Jesus first. Huh? Hallelujah. Don't, don't worry about the trial. No, you're not going through by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're going through with the victor already. Yes, mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The victory has already been won. Mm. Thank you, you, you got to believe it. Stay there with him. And look at that. He, he turned the water to one. It's about 120 gallons of water. He turned it all to wine. And when the governor changed, he said, Well, you done saved the best. Usually when they had to have the wedding, they, they saved all the bad wine. Get you where you can't taste the difference. Then they served the good wine, huh? Uh, first, it's not the good wine first and the bad wine last. Mm -hmm. uh, watch out now. But this time, they, he said, you say the best right. for last. You got it. You, got it. you say the best wine for last, man. <laughs> and they was told this bad about but they didn't know that Jesus had turned the water mm -hmm. turned to wine. And, it, and, and he told him, man, it's not my time yet, woman. I know what time I'm going to do what I'm going to do for yes, my mother. And he done it to show the disciples who he was mm -hmm. and to glorify mm -hmm. his Love father God. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's what he did. That's what he did. And he, he had, he had a, a, a ministry and he had a mission. You see, the church come out the mission, y'all. Yes, the church come after the mission was complete. And, and you know, it, it's good to know who you serve. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, 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 like the song of Daniel, how many people know who Jesus really is? Yes, Lord. It's like everything gonna be all right when you get on the Lord's side. I got gospel news for you, so it's a battle. But see, you got to come into the night to know that the battle has already been won. Huh? Yes, it is. And, and, and if there's no battle, there's no victory. But the battle has already been won by Jesus. Yes, Lord. And said so the best is yet to come. Mm. I'm Hallelujah. Going to to 21. I don't know about nobody else. I know. It ain't going to be like 20. Ha! I know that. Not in my life. Not, not in my walk with the Lord. It's not yes, going to yes, be Lord. like 20 women. Yes, in Lord. No, friend, no frame of mind. No kind of frame. No kind of way. It's going to be all the matter that's different. And because it's already I've started out different. It started out with miracles. Hallelujah. It with marriage. It thank with you, marriage. Jesus. Married in 21. Yeah. Ooh, thank to you, son, dear. To, to a son that I married the mom and dad 33 years ago. My it's love. A My, it's, it's a miracle. miracle. It's a miracle. That's power. That, that's God coming back and showing you his brother, proving to you who he is and what he can do. Hallelujah. Uh, and, 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 and nothing you're doing, everything you do for Christ is going to let. Ooh, hallelujah. Nothing for Christ is going to be in vain. Thank you, Jesus. No, 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 it's not going to be in vain. And he, and he proved that in my life, in that marriage on Friday. It was powerful. It was very much preached. And the presence of God was present in the place. Hallelujah. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was powerful. It was powerful. I, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I was glad for those two young people. And I told them about goodwill. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> really Y'all got the gift for the church yes, Lord. that teaches the uncompromising gospel, yes, Lord. and you got to stay there. Yes, Lord. Because you're not going to make it without God. Mm -hmm. uh, there's quite a few people in there, too, and I show clowns. You, know? yeah. you got to stay with God and 
and don't let folk crowd your house. You fill your house with your wife. You cannot have a whole bunch of company in your marriage. So this job, I said, you come by goodwill. I don't care where you go, but you got to find you a church home. Hallelujah. I got glad this. I got glad this. I got glad this. I got glad this. You got to find you a church. teaching and preaching the uncompromising God. Hallelujah. That's the only way you're going to make it. That's the only way your marriage is going to last. That you get God in. Right. He got to be in. He got to be the total focus. And they were taking him in and hearing quiet in the mouth. I like when you're quiet. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying to you. Hallelujah. So they said they were going to come by. I hope they come by here one day. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But I definitely gave them the invitation. Yes, Lord. And so they got to have the Lord. And now, that was a soul together at my sister's house. Mm -hmm. And it was very much time for witnessing. Mm -hmm. God opened the door for witnesses to let them know they got to have a church home. They got to be with the Lord. They got to put the Lord in their life continuously. So in 1900 years ago, Jesus came, and he walked 72 miles to be baptized of John in Jersey. And John out there baptized him, looked, and saw him coming, mm -hmm. and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world. And Jesus and John had a conversation out there on Jersey that day. And John said, You're coming down to me to be baptized of me. I need to be baptized with thee. And Jesus told John, said, something to be so, John, we must fulfill all righteousness. And John suffered him down in the water, and the Bible said he came straight away out of the water. And yes, John said, I looked and saw the heaven open, I said, the Spirit of God descend in the form of a dove and light up upon his shoulder. But look here, y'all, he went about doing good. Yes, Lord. Give a sight to the blind. I'm stopping up here. The lame came walking. The dead came back from oh death. And one evening, the garden of the the chief priest and the scribes came and they took him. Mm. And they led him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Yes, Lord. And finally, God was saying, he sang the pilot, bound it up. And oh. Pilate walked out of paper and said, I find no fault in the man. Take him and do what you will. And the Jews took my Lord and just when they marched him out, go Gothas Hill. Hallelujah today. And they got him there, laid him down, and they nailed his left hand, and they nailed his right hand. Oh. They crossed his feet, and they drove a spike in his feet. But I heard him say over in John 12 and 32, and if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, uh, I'll draw. <laughs> I'll draw all oh, men. Hallelujah. Get in right there on Calvary's hill. They dropped him low. And they tell me he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder and said, It is finished. <laughs> My Lord. And Hallelujah. He died. Yes, Hallelujah, he died. Jesus. Yes, he died. Yes, Lord. But look at here, that's not the end of the story. <laughs> God always got somebody. <laughs> they yes, tell he me he chose, but then the demons came and they begged.
encourage your heart today. Let yes, pray. Lord. And we pray that God would look forward to 21. Yes, Lord. Because it ain't going to be like, I'm telling you now, it ain't going to be like 20. Okay. No, it ain't going to be like 20 because your mind has to be made up. I'm going all the way with it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sleep well, with or without. Yeah. I'm going with it. He's Thank a wonderful God. God. Yes, Lord. He makes ways yes, out of no way. When men can't see it, God shows you the adventures in his dream. Yeah, yeah. And he makes himself known. If you want to know him, you can make you can be you can know him if you want to know him. I mean, I mean not what kind of trial you're going through, what kind of condition you're in. If you want to know Jesus, you can know him. Deaf, dumb, blind, crippled, or crazy. There's no excuse because they all the excuses was nailed on Calvary. Hallelujah. All, all of them put on Calvary. You can't make that. Well, I don't know. I can't read. I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. No, no. All you do is say Jesus. Jesus. And say Jesus and believe it, and you shall receive. Hallelujah. Right? 